And to begin our activity this afternoon, this evening, we are going to be having our Navy NJRTC program, and they're going to be presenting colors, and we're going to do the Pledge of the Flag, and then we'll begin the rest of our program. So at this time, cadets, please present colors. Please rise. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you for being here, students. Thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate the class of 2022 and the Senior Award Ceremony. Uh, before we start doing introductions, uh, I'm pretty excited to announce that up until about, it was 3.10 p.m. this afternoon, we have a total um, commitment of, of money being awarded to this class right now in the amount of six million nine thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars and more on the way so that's pretty significant so at this time I'd like to introduce Commander Heyman to for his presentations commander Thank you, Dr. Foley. The American Legion Scholarship Award, Boyertown Post 471. The American Legion is proud to present this award to a high-ranking senior with family members who have served in the military. Congratulations to Jack Albright. Jack, please accept this second award from the American Legion on behalf of the senior class. This award is given to all seniors with a GPA of 3.5 or higher at the end of their junior year. This award will be presented to all recipients at graduation. For the outstanding Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps students, this award is presented to two outstanding students recognized by the NJROTC department. Our first recipient and commanding officer is Oliver Heath. Our second recipient is Cadet Madison Ward, our executive officer. Thank you, Commander. At this time, I will be asking Mr. Darano to please come to the podium to give out his awards.
Hello, I'm Mr. Darno, and I'm representing the art department. Uh, we have a senior show coming up next Tuesday, so if you're in there, please come check it out. Um, these two students that I'm about ready to introduce, um, I have a hard time calling students talented. I think talented takes away from all their hard work and effort and dedication, and these two students are the most hardworking, most dedicated, um, most inspiring students I've worked with in a long time. And they are Alana George and Haley Weinberger. They really are amazing. And so these two will have spotlights uh, next Tuesday. So please come check them out. Um, I'm also have the honor of presenting the Bonnie Stengel Memorial, Ship, Memorial Scholarship Award. This award is given in memory of Bonnie Stengel. Mrs. Stengel was a well-loved art teacher at Gilbertsville Elementary for many years. The recipient of this award has an outstanding character, a commitment to both academic and academic studies and community service. Congratulations to Gabrielle Taylor. Okay. Here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the William M. Hoffman Scholarship Award. This scholarship is given in memory of William Hoffman. Mr. Hoffman was a man of faith who served the community as a police officer, an ambulance driver, a school board member. This award is presented to a senior who is planning a career in law enforcement or criminal justice. At this time, I'd like to congratulate Elizabeth Finelli. So the John Kaufman Memorial Award. The Kaufman family is honored to present this award in memory of Jack Kaufman, a former Boyertown area school board director and a longtime supporter of students, finding a balance between his strong contributions to academics and an unwavering dedication to their extracurricular school and community activities. Like Mr. Kaufman, this year's recipient is self-motivated, inspires others to achieve as well, and we would like to congratulate Carly France. At this time, I will ask Mrs. Battenary to please come to the podium for the awards. Good evening. This year, the science department will be giving out several awards. The first is the Gernard Award. Alan Gernard was a teacher of chemistry at Bash for 35 years, from 1952 to 1987. Prior to his appointment in 1981 as the first science supervisor, Mr. Gernard served as the math science coordinator, science department head, and the first district department chairperson. Al Gernard gave untiring, dedicated service to the young people of the Boyertown area. In addition to a monetary award, the recipient's name is engraved on a plaque which is displayed in the library entrance. The inscription reads, to the member of the graduating class of BHS who seeks to invoke the wonders of science, maintains exemplary moral character, and shows compassion and understanding to his or her fellow man. This year's recipient was described by his teachers as inquisitive, curious, and hardworking. He is respectful to all students in the class and is unafraid to ask questions. Please join me in congratulating Joshua Lishinsky as this year's winner. Our second award is the Sell Award. George Sell taught physics at Bash many years ago and was known as a tough but a fair teacher. He suffered a heart attack while at work and died shortly thereafter. Mr. Sell was so, thought of, so well thought of that both students and faculty donated money to start a fund in his honor. Each year, a gift of $100 will be given to a superb science student in his honor. 
This year, the Cell Award is being given to a young woman who has been described as quiet, shy, and very kind. Someone once told her she wouldn't be successful in her biology class because of these qualities. She was determined to prove them wrong. She has pushed, pushed herself to be her best and has excelled in science. She is focused, motivated, and determined to learn as much as she can. It is my pleasure to present the Cell Award to Riley Cochran. The next awards are the Outstanding Science Students. The first Outstanding Science Student Award is being presented to a student who has been described by his teachers as serious, motivated, and hardworking. He is inquisitive and open to feedback. He is a leader in the classroom and kind to both teachers and classmates. All of these qualities have led to his success in high school. Congratulations goes to Cameron Kratz. The second Outstanding Science Student Award is being presented to an individual, individual that is described as meticulous, diligent, and thrives on a challenge. He participated in the Science Olympiad competition, and he either won or medaled in all of his events. He is a leader in the classroom, motivating his fellow students to achieve at their highest level. Please join me in congratulating Mark Longenberger. Thank you. <clears throat> At this time, we're going to be awarding the Joseph B. Supic Swing Away Scholarship Award. The Joseph B. Supic Swing Away Scholarship Award was established in 2019 to recognize a graduating student from Boyertown High School who demonstrated an excellence in both academics, athletics, but more importantly, one who had an impact on the school community. And we'd like to congratulate this year's recipient, Brandon Shane. The Boyertown Area Education Association Scholarship. The BAEA Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who plans to enter college and pursue a career in public education. On behalf of the teachers, counselors, therapists, and other professional educators in Boyertown, we are honored to announce this year's recipient. Please congratulate Keely Malloy. <clears throat> Henry K. and Evelyn K. Reitenauer Scholarship. This award is in memory of Henry and Evelyn Reitenauer. Henry, a teacher with Boyertown Area School District, and Evelyn, a former Boyertown Elementary principal, shared a genuine concern and love for special needs students. All awards are granted to either seniors planning to teach special education or to those students with an individual education plan who seek to continue their education. And this evening, there are seven recipients. Caitlin Wild, Brooke Meredith, Kaylee Airy, Gabrielle Taylor, Nicole Stauffer, Cheyenne Ulmer, and Aubrey Meisler. G. Richard Grabert Memorial Award. This award is in memory of Mrs. Greener's grandfather, a former career tech counselor at BASH. This award has been established for a career tech student planning on continuing his or her education 
who shows scholastic ability as well as high possibility for succeeding in his or her chosen field. Help me congratulate Caitlin Rydell. <clears throat> At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Kasani and Mrs. Corns for their presentations. Thank you, Dr. Foley. We are very honored this evening to present the Outstanding Inclusive Student of the Year Award on behalf of the Special Education Department. Each year our department chooses one exceptional female and male who have learned to overcome academic, emotional, or social challenges. This year, our decision was unanimous for these two students who stood out notably. As well, or as we all know, life, school, and teenage years create their own separate challenges. But for some of these students, they take these challenges to further their growth as an individual. The two students we, um, sorry, the two students we chose for applying their strengths and challenges, to, or I'm sorry, their strengths and any challenge thrown at them to go on and graduate with scholarships to the university of their choice. Our students were chosen for their willpower, positive attitude, and determination to conquer and succeed in the classroom. Our female recipient is one of the hard, has one of the hardest can-do work ethics and pushes herself to achieve the best results. She has consistently received honorable and academic recognitions from both Boyertown High School and Burke's Career Technology Center. No matter the challenge, she has risen with grace and confidence. This student has never been afraid to ask for help along the way. In the fall, she was accepted with a scholarship into the law enforcement program at Kutztown University starting in the fall. While attending school, she plans to pay her way by working using her certifications at, um, from BCTC, and we have no doubt that she will continue to be outstanding in her college and professional careers. Our male recipient displays an extraordinary ability to persevere. He has faced many exceptional challenges during his time here at BASH, and each and every time he looks adversity in the face and keeps going. Over the years, he has developed a fierce love for all things horticulture and the environment, and this love is evident in all he does. He has matured into a confident young man who has true people and leadership skills. In the fall, he was accepted to Delaware Valley University with a $2,000 scholarship. $22,000, it says that right here. While at Delaware Valley University, he plans to study horticulture. This student and his amazing people skills, winning attitude, drive, and perseverance go unparalleled and will take him far in years to come. Over the past four years, it has been our pleasure to mentor and witness the growth of these two students. We are really proud and humbled to present the Outstanding Inclusive Student of the Year Award to Cheyenne Ulmer and Ryan Pardusky. All right, thank you. Our next award is the Bash Accent Creative Writing Award. This year's recipient of this award has been a contributing member of the Accent Magazine Club since her freshman year, culminating with the club's presidency. As a senior, she has led daily activities of the club, developed writing prompts, shared writing, and spent countless hours editing and organizing the magazine. Her hard work and enthusiasm in literature has a profound effect on the club. Congratulations to Annalise Pete. All right, at this time, I'd like to start our Outstanding English Student Award. This year's recipient, Academic Ambition and Drive make her a natural choice for the Outstanding ELA Student Award. She is talented at considering the subsidies within literature and confident in sharing her ideas and opinions in a thoughtful way. She has a great sense of humor. She is intrinsically driven and takes an active role in her learning. Her personal strengths are impressive as her academic accomplishments. She believes passionately in working for the common good and leaving her mark on the world and de as demonstrated through her hard work in her BCTC Medical Health Professionals Program. This year's recipient will no doubt go on to achieve great things. 
The English Department would like to congratulate Abigail Detweiler. I know. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Blyler. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna present five awards tonight. The first two awards I'm going to present are for the Social Studies Department Outstanding Student Awards. Both of these students were kind of described in similar ways by their teachers. Both were described with words like brilliant, kind, and also people that would do anything for anybody. I would like to congratulate both Michael Perry and Catherine Kummerer. All right, next we're gonna present the Berks County Historical Society Award. This goes to a student that is extremely knowledgeable in history, and I have seen this student in action in my Conflict and Consequences class. This is someone who chooses purposely to do difficult projects on, I would argue, obscure topics, uh, but does it in a very, very well done way and clearly has a passion for history. This award goes to Keely Mallory. Next, we're going to introduce a brand new award this year. This is the Phil Fleck Award. It is through the Boyertown Auto Museum. This is an award that honors the memory of Phil Fleck, someone who gave a lot to that museum and pursued historical preservation. This award goes to a student that either has done something with historical preservation or will go in that direction with their vocation. In this case, we selected a student who has done their best to advance a veterans memorial project that we're trying to work on here at BASH. And although we're not gonna see it come to fruition this school year, I'm sure he'll be there at the ribbon cutting ceremony next year. I'd like to welcome and congratulate Nate Ansu. Lastly, I'm going to present the Tri-County Chamber of Commerce Award. Uh, this is an award I get to present since I'm one of the co-advisors of FBLA, Future Business Leaders of America. Uh, this student uh, is someone who really has gone above and beyond in the club, and not just because of like their work ethic, but also their personality and their drive. This is someone who manages to juggle their academics, uh, their um, outside school life, dance, uh, being the football manager, just so many things. Uh, Jillian Carpenter is our winner. All right, the Boyertown Amicus Scholarship. This award is given to a senior planning to major in hearing, physical, occupational, speech, or music therapies. This recipient is a student who shows a strong commitment to academics and dedication to their extracurricular school and community activities. Congratulations to Brooklyn Smith. The Robert and Kenneth Mace's Scholarship Fund. This scholarship is awarded in the memory of Robert and Kenneth Mace. Robert F. Mace was a 1976 graduate of the Boyertown High School who was killed in the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York on September 11, 2001. His brother, Kenneth, is also remembered with this award. Kenneth Mace passed away from leukemia in 2012. This year's recipient is Rebecca Sandoval. Outstanding Family and Consumer Science Students. The Outstanding FCS Award recipients have always shown great enthusiasm and a positive attitude in many FCS classes that they have taken through the years at BASH. 
This year's first recipient has taken four FCS classes here at BASH and has been an outstanding student in each one. She is creative, reliable, trustworthy, goal-oriented, and has a passion to excel in the culinary arts field. It is no surprise that she has been accepted to the prestigious Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. We know you excel in your program at the CIA. Best of luck. This year's second recipient has taken six classes in the Family and Consumer Sciences Department during his high school career. He is a student who has excellent work ethic and went above and beyond by always offering to help his teachers and his peers. He is detail-oriented, empathetic, and has a positive and thoughtful manner when working with children. Thank you for setting a positive tone with your words and actions every day here at BASH. Your efforts throughout your high school career are commendable and greatly appreciated by your teachers. It is no surprise that he is pursuing a career in teaching and education at Millersville University. He will make an outstanding teacher. Thank you for the wonderful memories. The family and consumer science teachers with both, wish both recipients great success with their future endeavors. Congratulations to Krista Campbell and Benjamin Rohrbach. All right, the outstanding technology education student. This year's recipient is one of the epitome of an excellent tech ed student. Her attention to detail and drive for perfection allowed her to excel in every tech ed class she was enrolled in. She is not afraid of challenges and will work twice as hard as anyone else to ensure that she reaches her full, her full potential. She sets high sights on goals that most would not dare to dream. Her tenacity for learning and excellent work ethic will carry her far in life. As a department, we are proud to have the opportunity to know and teach this student. The tech ed teachers are confident that she will go far in life. Congratulations to Ashley Murray. The Technology Education Department Award. This year's recipient has been able to achieve tech ed students since the seventh grade. His dedication and participation in the tech ed classes manifested into the Technology Student Association where he proved to be a shining star time and time again. He has placed in competitive events at both regional and state conferences. His pleasant demeanor and tireless work ethic have made him a pleasure to have in class. His willingness to jump in and help those in needs from his strong leadership qualities. He is able to excel as a role model. The tech ed teachers are proud to have known him and wish him good luck with his future endeavors. The tech ed department would like to congratulate Josh Lezinski. The Outstanding Wellness and Physical Education Students Award. This award is presented to the following three outstanding wellness and physical education students. This year's first recipient excels the qualities of a player that any coach would desire, including a positive attitude, responsibility, and an eagerness to learn. She is a member of the volleyball team, the lacrosse team, and she continues to offer an abundance of positive energy and interacts well with her teammates as well as coaches. She is a starter and leader on both volleyball and lacrosse. Throughout wins and losses, she always remained positive, encouraging during the season. What makes this student a, student a standout amongst her teammates is that her positive attitude and high level of effort is contagious to the entire team. She is well respected by both teachers and fellow students. This winner is for Grace Reinheimer. This year's second recipient has always been and continues to be a student with high morality, integrity, and class. He is every PE teacher's dream. He walks into every class looking to work hard and wanting to compete. 
Whether it's in a class or in the weight room or before school, he's always wanting to improve himself. These are characteristics that distinguish him from our outstanding PE Student Award, as well as the characteristics that make him successful beyond the walls of the Boardtown High School. This award goes to Nicholas Montagnier. This year's third recipient is goal-oriented. He is a focused individual with great pride in his performance, image, and health. Additionally, during his strength and conditioning training sessions, he led the record board with his strength goals. His best attribute is his leadership and compassion to his fellow students. This award goes to Cody Weiss. Our next award is the Outstanding World Language Students. This year's recipients of the German Award are Outstanding German for Students. Throughout their four years in German, they have demonstrated perseverance and dedication to expanding knowledge of German language and culture. They have both worked hard and exceeded expectations by spending time outside of the class to learn even more than required about culture and language. In class, they have been complimented on their speaking skills by a native German speaker. They should both be proud of their accomplishments accomplishments. This year's German awards are presented to Keely Malloy and Angelina Poff. This year's recipient of the Spanish award is an outstanding world language student. Her Spanish teachers describe her as hardworking, insightful, and inquisitive. Her passion for language and culture is refreshing and inspiring. She plans to continue to learn Spanish and accompany her career in the medical field. This year's Spanish award is presented to Abigail Detweiler. The Outstanding Math Student Award. This year's recipient is one of the most brilliant mathematical thinkers to walk the halls of Bash. He has been through every level of math we offer and distinguished himself at every stop. He has been on our math team since freshman year and consistently scores at the top of the team. He has participated in the American Mathematics Contest 12 the last three years where he was Boyertown's highest scorer. He also did well enough each year to progress to the American Invitational Mathematics exam, the only student in Boyertown history to do so. He actively seeks out mathematical challenges and enjoys the totality of problem solving process. He is an easy choice for the Outstanding Student Award. The teachers of the math department would like to congratulate Cole Kretz. The Boyertown Lions District Governor Scholarship. The Lions of Boyertown are pleased to present this check in honor of the five past district governors. Congratulations to Nathaniel Ansu. <laughs> the Boyertown Woman in Life Science Scholarship Award. Dr. Deborah Pat, owner of the Pat Veterinary Hospital in Gillersville, established the Boyertown Woman in Life Science Scholarship in 2004 to help inspire women to pursue higher education in the life sciences. This scholarship is awarded to a female student who intends to major in biology or the health science fields. Congratulations to Riley Cochran. The Jean D. Scotch Memorial Scholarship Award. This scholarship honors the memory of Jean D. Scotch, who passed away in 2002. This award is given to an outstanding senior who plans to further their education at a college, university, or trade school. Congratulations to Madison Hosley.
the Charles L. Garris Family Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who shows outstanding character, commitment to academic studies, and dedication to extracurricular activities and community service. This year's recipient is Nathaniel Ansu. <clears throat> The Richard L. Graver Boyertown FBLA Scholarship. The Tri-County Chamber of Commerce would like to congratulate the recipient of this award on their success in high school and wish them the best of luck in all their future endeavors. Congratulations to Jillian Carpenter. The Boyertown Elementary PTO Scholarship. The Boyertown Elementary PTO is proud to honor this former student. This hard work and dedication will get him far in life. Congratulations to Lucas Glatkin. The Colebrookdale Elementary HSA Scholarship. On behalf of the Colebrookdale Elementary Home and School Association, it is with great pride that we present this annual scholarship to this year's recipient. Her hard commitment to both academics and community service were evident in her application. We wish you much success and can you begin your college education. Congratulations to Aubrey Meitzler. The Gilbertsville Elementary HSA Scholarship. The Gilbertsville Elementary Home and School Associ Association is happy to award this scholarship to a former student who has an ongoing commitment to serve the community at large, the GES students and staff. The GES family would like to send its congratulations and wishes for continued success to Jillian Carpenter. This one's for real. So the second time to the chart. The Ronald W. Chrisman Character Scholarship. The recipients of the Gilbertsville Elementary Ronald Chrisman Character Scholarship is a student who already demonstrates academic excellence, educational and life accomplishments, and embodies the characteristics that define this award. One of the references submitted for this student described the student's responsibility to those they coach, their peers, and their family as unmatched. The GES family would like to send its congratulations and wishes for continued success to Lindsay Heiser. The New Hanover Upper Frederick Kevin Gott Memorial Scholarship Award. The NHUF Scholarship Committee is amazed year after year at how talented our students are here in Boyertown. Thank you to everyone who applied. The committee enjoyed reading your aspirations and wish you all the best as you begin your next chapter. Congratulations to this year's award winner, Jack Albright. The Pine Forge Elementary PTA Scholarship. The Pine Forge PTA proudly presents two of their former students with this scholarship. Pine Forge is so proud of both of you, congratulations. Go show this world what it means to be Pine Forge strong. Our first recipient is Abigail Mole. Our second recipient is Caitlin Wild. The Washington Elementary PTO Scholarship. The officers of the Washington Elementary PTO would like to congratulate the following recipient on all of her hard work. The entire Washington Elementary family is so proud of your achievements and wish you much success in your future endeavors. Congratulations to Nicole Stauffer. The 
the Margareta A. R. Lamb Scholarship. On behalf of the Bordertown Choral Association, congratulations. We are pleased to offer this award to you as you pursue a degree in music education. This award is in memory of Mrs. Margareta Lamb, who was an exceptional educator, inspiring many young people to excel as music educators and performers. Mrs. Lamb remained active as a conductor, arranger, and performer well into her 80s. May you too find joy in teaching and inspiring young people in the arts for many years to come. Congratulations to Justin Narr. <laughs> the Dan Kraszewski Boyertown Core Award. This award is presented to a senior who is planning a career in music education, music performance, or a related field, and has shown a dedication to the Bordertown Area Choral Department. This award is in honor of retired Bordertown Choral Director, Dan Kercheski, for his years of service and dedication to the Bordertown Choral community. This year's recipient has been an integral part of the Bordertown music for many years. He has demonstrated the values of the music program beyond the classroom and the stage. We wish him the very best as he continues his musical journey. Congratulations to Justin Narr. <laughs> the Boyertown Alumni Marching Unit Scholarship. This award is presented to a college-bound music student who has demonstrated academic ability and excellent leadership skills. The Boyertown Alumni Marching, Marching Unit would like to offer its sincerest congratulations to this year's recipient, Jack Onzaluswitz. I messed that up, I'm sorry. We'll get it at graduation, buddy. <laughs> the Arlene Saylor Award. This award is presented to an outstanding music student who is planning a career in music education or music performance and has been an outstanding leader and role monitor in the Bash bands. This year's recipient has always been an enthusiastic member of the Bash marching unit. He has demonstrated his talents on the saxophone and in many groups here at Bash, and we wish him the very best as he continues his education at Westchester University. Ram up. Congratulations to Aiden Yonkinis. The Music League Award. The Music League is proud to support young musicians who have been active in the music program during their years in the district. This year's recipient embodies the spirit of music and service with which are the hallmarks of the Bordertown Music League. We wish him the very best in all of his future endeavors. I'm gonna try this again. Jake Anzalusitz. <laughs> Better? We'll stick with Jake. <clears throat> the Outstanding Music Students. This recipient of this year's Outstanding Music Awards are both hardworking students who have been heavily involved in all areas of the music department throughout their time at BASH. They have shown great initiative and drive to be successful musicians and represent the music department in the best light possible. The teachers of the music department would like to congratulate Brandon Weand and Alina Gerhardt. <laughs> the Gulak Foundation Scholarship Award. This reoccurring scholarship is awarded to an academically worthy student planning to continue their education at a college or university. This recipient is Cole Kratz. Cole. 
The Gulak Foundation Scholarship Award. I just did that, so I'll go to the next one. The James DeCindio, Jennifer Gilbert, Leslie Sponsnaski, Boyertown Area Key Club, Kiwanis Club Memorial Scholarship. Yes, this scholarship is presented annually in honor and memory of James D. Cedino, Jennifer Gilbert, and Leslie Sopanaski, schoolmates and friends who died in a tragic accident in the fall of 1996. This award this year is given to students planning to further their education. Congratulations to Abigail Mole. I'd like to present Dr. Foley. The Boyertown Junior Women's Club Scholarship Award. The Boyertown Junior Women's Scholar Club is proud to present this award to a student pursuing a post high school education who has demonstrated citizenship, academic achievement, extracurricular participation, and community involvement. This year's recipient is Rebecca Sandoval. The Boyertown Junior Women's Club Elaine B. Maley Memorial Award. This memorial award is presented in honor of Elaine B. Maley, a former teacher in the Boyertown School District. It is given to a student pursuing a post high school education who has demonstrated citizenship, academic achievement, extracurricular participation, and community involvement. Congratulations to Keely Malloy. The Outstanding Business and IT Student. On behalf of the Business, the Computer, and Science Department, this year's recipient is a quiet, reserved, and resourceful student who has taken many of our courses and certifications offered in the department and has excelled in all of them. This student will be pursuing a degree in finance and accounting at Penn State University. Congratulations to Shane Gabriel. George V. and Dorothy Pretzman Family Scholarship. This award is in honor of George V. and Dorothy Pretzman to celebrate more than 30 years of dedicated volunteerism and community service. This scholarship is awarded to a high achieving student who demonstrated a significant servant's contribution to their community, church, or school. This year's recipient is Sarah Drakus. Alfred A. Panfile Memorial Scholarship. The Diamond Credit Union is proud to present the Alfred A. Panfile Memorial Scholarship. This year's recipient has been chosen for exemplifying the characteristics of Mr. Panfile was known for. These students care about the local community and has shown leadership through volunteerism. This year's recipient is Angelina DeSantis. Carl A. Usavage Scholarship Award. This award is given in honor of Carl A. Usavage. Mr. Usavage served on the Boyertown School District for 35 years. He was a dedicated educator and a principal who had the respect of the staff and students alike because of his compassion, support, understanding, and commitment to excellence. This award is presented to a senior furthering their education who exhibits a strong commitment to academics, who has always set a good example for their fellow students and shows good leadership potential. Congratulate, congratulations to Caitlin Wild. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Chikaski to the podium. Is he here? He's running, here he is. Can we get that on film and make sure he sees running? Thank you, Dr. Foley. Um, Bill Trukaski, telecommunications teacher here at Blairtown High School. 
And the first award I'm giving is the Outstanding Technical Service Award, which goes to a senior who has excelled with their technical abilities behind the camera. The recipient this year has taken every telecom class since his freshman year and is now one of my telecom interns. He has been a Bash TV director for two years and is the president of the Bash TV club this year. Whenever someone in class has a technical issue or needs a graphic made or has some complex editing that they need help with, they seek out this student. And I also seek out this student for those same reasons. Uh, this year, as a telecom intern, he partnered with Aiden Acevedo to produce Exploring with Aiden. The two of them made a great team, and the show was a huge success. After graduation, he plans to continue his education at Savannah College of Art and Design, where I'm sure he'll excel. Uh, this year's recipient of the Outstanding Technical Service Award is Luke Yambor. The next award is the Bash TV News Excellence Award. This award goes to a dedicated senior in TV homeroom that has excelled with their service to our morning news show. And this year it will be going to two seniors. Both of these students have taken telecom class, or well, taken every telecom class and are currently telecom interns. They both perform every duty of TV news without complaint, whether behind the scenes or in front of the camera. They both arrive to homeroom early and are hardly ever absent to school. Both of these students have weekly shows on TV news. One of them walks around the school asking a weekly question, while the other works with oil paints to create beautiful nature landscapes. The first recipient plans on majoring in film and television at Temple University, where he will build on his already advanced skills. Uh, the first recipient of the Bash TV News Excellence Award is Isaac Miller. The second recipient plans on attending Syracuse University in New York to dual major in business and TV film production. This recipient of the Bash TV News Excellence Award is Jared Drabick. My final award is the Outstanding Telecommunications Award. This award goes to a senior who has excelled beyond all others in their service to the telecommunications department here at Bash. This student started taking telecom classes during her sophomore year and is currently a telecom intern. She has been in the Bash TV homeroom for two years and has been both a news director and a director. She has proven herself uh, skillful both in front of and behind a camera. She is the vice president of the Bash TV club and the president of Insight, our student talk show. She is responsible and reliable and has taken on some challenging projects including a video for central administration that required her to obtain footage and interviews from all nine schools in the district, a video that we affectionately call POG, which stands for Portrait of a Graduate, coming to a small screen very soon. She is currently working on a senior highlight video, which has required her to search through hundreds of hours of video footage from the past four years. This video, which is already looking great, will be shown during graduation at the Santander Arena on June 3rd. After graduation, she plans on attending Ithaca College in New York, where I'm sure she'll continue growing her portfolio of impressive accomplishments. This year's Outstanding Telecommunications Award goes to Katherine Coomer. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. The Earl Elementary PTO Scholarship Award. The Earl Elementary PTO is pleased to present two awards to two former students. 
The recipients were chosen based upon financial need, academic achievement, school and community related activity, participation, and commitment to higher education. The Earl Elementary family is proud of you both and hope that you remember your years at Earl Elementary fondly. Best of luck in your future career paths. Congratulations to Brooke Meredith and Brandon Shane. Outstanding Journalism and Cub Newspaper. So the Cub Newspaper Advisor is proud to present two students with award for providing excellence in journalism. The first student has spent the year expertly reading the rest of the writing staff, editing their work, and contributing to her own brilliant pieces. She has done a fantastic job of making sure that the Cub was a professional publication. The second recipient of this award has been an outstanding staff writer. Not only has he understands the complex events, current events, but also has been able to write pieces on various global issues with clarity and panchi that is well beyond his years. I would like to congratulate both Cheyenne Williams and James Oak. The Robin Carter Scholarship Award. The Robin M. Carter Memorial Scholarship is presented with the following remarks from Rowan Carter, his car Mr. Carter's middle. Whew. Sorry. <clears throat> my beautiful wife of 28 years, Robin M. Carter, died in my arms on Thursday, December the 10th, 2015. After waging a, a courageous six-month battle with pancreatic cancer, got the best of her. Robin worked at Pine Forge Elementary for 15 years as a paraprofessional. She loved Pine Forge, she loved the staff, and especially loved the children. The purpose of the, M, the Robin M. Carter Scholarship is twofold. One is to financially assist the student from Pine Forge Elementary who wants to pursue a post-secondary education, and the other is to keep my wife's memory alive. I want to thank everyone who helped me make the dream a reality especially my extended family at Pine Forge Elementary and my fundraising crew, the Odd Squad. Good luck to this year's recipients and God bless. This year's recipients are Luke Yomber and Abigail Moll. The Medicine Shop Scholarship. This year, the Medicine Shop in Boyertown would like to award a scholarship to a student who has a strong understanding of community. This recipient, I'm sorry, the recipient of this award is planning to study pharmacy at Wilkes University. She has a strong understanding that is a collaboration of community and all stakeholders when providing healthcare outcomes for our community, including the healthcare team, which consists of physicians, pharmacists, nurses, mental health, politicians, caseworkers, and religious entities. Please join me in congratulating Courtney Jarvis. The Mary Lipinski Memorial Scholarship. This award is giving in loving memory of Mary Lipinski. The scholarship is funded from the proceeds of Mary's published book of photographs and memories entitled, Through Mary's Eyes. Mary was a member of the Future Business Leadership of America. This award is given to an outstanding senior who is an active member of FBLA, has excelled academically, and has a strong commitment to their school and community. I'd like to congratulate Cassandra Hager. <clears throat> Well, that will conclude our program this evening. I would like to thank each one of you for being here today to help us celebrate this time. And you're gonna blink and this year is going to be over. 
Some upcoming dates, of course, is graduation on June the 3rd. We're at Santander. We'll see you guys there. Thank you and have a safe evening. Bye-bye.